What? They're really going for this. That Hank was killed due to Jackie's interference. Are you kidding me? That had nothing to do with Jackie. Just because he rammed that van? Are you kidding me? It was obviously Hank's fault for standing in the open, not going for any cover. All the same, Steve. <laughs> You're not alone. When did you stop giving a shit? Honestly? I couldn't tell you. I think if he had stopped giving a shit, he wouldn't be drinking right now. Why are you talking to him? Signa is dead because he had to be the great fucking Jackie Roth. Bullshit. Once again. What the fuck was their plan, actually? Had Jackie not showed up, they would have driven off. And then there would have been a chase, eventually they would have stopped them, and eventually that guy would have still got out of his car and started shooting. Like he did in the parking lot. This has nothing to do with Jackie. But thanks for forcing that angle on me, writers. Now you can put me and my brother and all my friends away for this bullshit down Fall River. But that won't solve who killed those Revere guards. I can do that for you, though. Mm -hmm. For immunity. <laughs> for immunity. <laughs> I'll say it again. Blanket immunity. Fuck him. Not literally, though. You think that anyone is going to feel anything other than relief when you die? Your parents or your brother or uh, that girl whose life you ruined out of Florida. I mean, I'm sincerely not trying to be a prick here. <laughs> You're not trying to be a prick, of course not. <laughs> it just comes natural to you. I like you, kid. I really do. I mean, what? I talk to you and I don't feel so alone being the biggest piece of shit in the world. Oh. That makes more sense. <laughs> Should have killed that motherfucker. <laughs> Look at my face. I mean, look hard. It shows the sins. Jackie, if you really want us to work again, be that man. I always thought you were. I thought you wanted to divorce him. What happened to that? Now you want to be back together with him? The guns. From Fall River, the FBI sign an auction? After the FBI takes that cut, the money goes to the Signa family. Well, I know his wife. She isn't gonna accept your fucking blood money. Then she'll be the first. <laughs> God, is everyone self-righteous now? Certainly all the women on the show. Oh, what, you got a date? Nah. I want to talk to you. And you changed your dress just for that? You were wearing that blue thing earlier. Literally two scenes earlier. Oh, you poor, poor girl who had such a terrible mother all her life. Get off your cross, Ma. When I fucking croak, you better not come crying over my grave. Because I'll reach through the ground and fucking strangle you. <laughs> Why'd she out of this house? This is my fucking house! I will burn this fucking house down with you inside! You don't have the tits to do yeah. that! You're more than that? I will get away with it too. She's bluffing. Stay. It's your house, apparently. And finally that question was answered. <laughs> I was wondering about that the entire season. Yeah, I work with Jimmy Ryan. Is he reliable? No. So I should not give him immunity. Jimmy Ryan is an unredeemable cunt and a liar. He's a fucking rat. <laughs> so now these two are best friends again, yeah? You can't keep this pace up. I already had to bury one of you. Well, I doubt he's getting shot in his office. You said you know how to hurt Jackie. Well, I mean, there's nothing that I can prove yet. Hmm. Never mind, best friend. <laughs> Maybe. Jimmy Ryan knows something about Jackie that we don't. You want to know what I would do here? Fuck Jackie Raw. Does Jimmy know anything about Jackie? Oh yeah, he helped him with the one body. In the case of the Revere Beach armor car robbery, the guards ascertained the identity of my brother and his accomplices, yes. and he and Thomas Hayes killed him. <laughs> 
He really sought out his brother. Congratulations, you rat. If my dear brother purges himself on the stand, his deal will go away. I'd imagine so. Ask him about Kelly Kinnicky. Ooh. Finally, the truth comes out about that old case. Do you know Mr. Kinnicky is missing? Yeah, obviously. Huh? You know how he went missing? Did Jimmy kill him? Yeah. I killed Kelly Kinnicky. And why would you do that? Because he's a state police informant. Kind of like you now. Yeah. He was a rat just like me. <laughs> the course he's having a meltdown. <laughs> Did Jackie know this? About Kanicki? That never came up. He told me not to trust you. Hmm. Should have listened to her. They warned me. They say he always gets away with it. Yeah, my deal's still good though, right? <laughs> Fucking bitch. Hmm? All right. You fucking bitch! All those years of crocodile tears and you helped bury him, you whore! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're garbage! Your fucking family's garbage! Your husband was garbage and a fucking rat! You better take your tired, ugly fucking ass away from my fucking house. <laughs> the children are probably standing at the window watching all of this. <laughs> Looking good, I think. Oh, not even at the window, they're outside. <laughs> what the fuck you doing here? More importantly, why did you bring the kid? I want her to watch. Why? The f oh. No matter what happens, you never let anybody know how you feel. Hmm? Are you aware that you're raising a psycho there? You conned a nigga prosecutor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why, you got any uh, bodies hanging over your head? Because I got the get out of jail free card. I'll fucking cop to him for you. Oh, you're a fucking prince, Jimmy. <laughs> the prince who's hated by everyone. What's this? Did you finally have that stroke? Do you even know what day it is? <laughs> she won't let me into my own home. You can't seem to learn. That you ain't that good, and I ain't that bad. I got nowhere to go. Well, there's a hotel to your left. I'm gonna get you a car on the other side of the common. You stand out there for a few hours, and you know, whatever <laughs> money you make, you give me 60%, and I will take real good fucking care of you. Fucking dick! <laughs> Just run her over. She's already dressed for her own funeral. Are you kidding me? Oh. Mm -hmm. This is the tongs did that. In lipstick? Hang on. Got an idea. How did you even remember that number? Whoever you're going to call there. <laughs> you're drunk as fuck. Who does that? Who has ever done that? Leaving the keys. Fuck up! Whoa. How do you fuck up a car bomb? Uh huh. <laughs> Didn't you ever wonder what Jimmy Ryan told me to get him immunity? Mm -hmm. You're full of shit. He is. <laughs> Maybe I don't come after you. Maybe you decide to come after me. A city on a hill cannot be hit. <laughs> Man, that's hilarious. Are oh, they trying to build him up? 
as this good guy who goes after Jackie to clean up the city. And yet this character is completely boring, partially due to the writing, partially due to the actor. Just doesn't work for me. Didn't work for me all season. One of the main problems of the show, that the second leading man just falls flat. Another main problem was the story itself that was just dragging, especially in the first half of the season. And I even expressed my concerns about that in the very first episode, when they revealed Jimmy to be Jackie's informant. And instead of using that to create tension and excitement, they just filled this season with side storylines that didn't matter or were just plain boring. Characters that hardly mattered, specifically in the first half of the season, like the entire story of Jackie's wife. First that thing with the young priest, then her going to college, then the reveal about her getting raped by her father. Too much. Same about the Corsi's wife. Who cared about that? About her job with that, what was that name, that reverend? Didn't matter. And at the same time, the bank robbers? Frankie and his gang pretty much did nothing all season. They robbed the transport in episode 1, then a second one in the second episode, but off screen I think, and then in episode 9 they get caught. And in between nothing happened but family business. Family business that wasn't needed. Which is a shame, because the actor playing Frankie, Jonathan Tucker, has the potential to be a standout. And yet they did nothing with him. Instead it was all about Jimmy mostly, who was annoying as fuck, as a character. So in the end it was all up to Kevin Bacon to save the show. And he did his best, but ultimately was let down by the script. Too bad.